All right, this is crazy, dude. Ooh, we just got the Nintendo Direct, and man, I'm just realizing how much they showed. Like, I like really enjoy that Direct, but looking back, I'm just like, man, there was a lot of stuff I'm probably gonna get. Like, Pikmin 4, I've never played a Pikmin game, right? But, this one looked really good. And, you know, I'll probably pick this one up. Uh, it's still possible I won't, but, I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll more than likely pick that game up. And then we got, you know, we got to see the Splatoon 3 expansion pass. That looked clean. Really looking forward to that. I've bought, I've bought and played Splatoon 1, 2, and 3. So I'm a really big Splatoon, Splatoon fan. So yeah, this is, this was really great. And then we finally got to see Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp. I played the original Advanced Wars 2, and uh, man, I had a lot of fun playing that game. So I'll definitely, yeah, I'll definitely pick up that game, yeah. And it's only coming out in a few months, so that's going to be really great. And then we saw Octopath Traveler 2, more of it, right? And... I didn't play Octopath Traveler 1, but I have played Live Alive and Triangle Strategy, and those games which were amazing. Really high quality. I didn't play Octopath Traveler 1. I did play the demo, but I didn't play it. I don't have a good reason. I just didn't play it. I don't know. And I just, you know, I was like, eh, I'll just watch some videos on it, you know, just watch the story through a stream or whatever. And I really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. So I might pick that one up. We'll still see about that one. Um, but yeah, I'll probably get it. And then they announced the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance for Nintendo Switch Online, which was awesome. But the main two things like I was really hyped for was Mario and Luigi Superstar uh, Saga and The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Uh, both of these games I've played and beaten multiple times. I think it's twice. And yeah, I really liked playing them. And then Mario Kart 8 DLC, right? We got that, we got Birdo. Awesome. And then we got the Yoshi Island course, which was great. And I play a good amount of Mario Kart 8, so that was awesome. And then, like, I still can't believe it. Like, they just show Professor Layton and the new world of Steam. How, how, how is this possible? Like, when does this even take place? I don't know. But I played the first Professor Layton. And I actually haven't played the other ones, but I really enjoyed the original. So I'm definitely picking that one up for uh, New World of Steam. And I think, I don't know if there were more on the DS, but on the Professor Layton games, but I know I didn't get the 3DS ones because I, I actually never got a 3DS. Only had a Wii U. And then, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom trailer was was top notch. They didn't show that much, but what they showed was was great. Yeah, that direct was pretty fire for me. Now, I know that a lot of people probably didn't like the direct because, like, I mean, this is literally like a Nintendo direct. Like, this was like the Nintendo direct. In the sense that, like, look at all these games that, like, I've listed. Like, this is just me for Nintendo, but they also showed uh, Metroid, uh, Fire Emblem DLC. I'm trying to remember the other stuff. 
But yeah, they showed so much Nintendo games. It's crazy. But yeah, so they mainly showed a ton of Nintendo games. So, you know, if you don't like Nintendo games, you weren't gonna really like Destruct. But for me, that was, that was really great. Ooh.